Now, one thing about me is I like longevity. I don't like short-term anything. I like ride or die. I like to be in somebody's life for the end of time. And when I date you, I'm dating to marry. I'm not dating to fuck around. So if you're not like that, stay away from me. I hate polyamorous and I hate cheating. And yes, I said I hate it. I really do. It makes me disgusted because I have a voice and I have a big mouth and I will definitely let you know, hey, babe, I don't like this. Or hey, babe, could you do this? I give you the chance to fix it at all times. I'm not a girl who doesn't communicate. I'm not a girl who says, Oh, he has to guess like Professor X. I don't play games. You see what I mean? I like to be authentically me and we could connect and be as one. We're life partners and I want it to work out. But the one thing that drives me crazy, like it makes me toxica. Don't piss me off. Cheating is the most absolute disgusting thing you could ever do to your partner. How dare you marry somebody? How dare you say vows? How dare you go in a dang church and still have the nerve to cheat on your partner. What did those vows mean to you? Y'all, I'm not one of those people who just says things and doesn't mean it. If I tell you I love you, if I tell you I want to be here till the end of time, I mean it. I mean it with my whole heart and soul. What the heck is wrong with y'all? Marriage is not just a piece of paper. At least to me, it's not. And I grew up in a traditional household where I see a lot of my families uh, that are married. But that's besides the point. Please... Oh, I'm getting worked up even thinking about cheating. Hold on. Please, before you decide to cheat on your man or your woman, you better remember this. The Bible tells us that cheating is really a sin. In 1 Corinthians, the verse says that love does not dishonor others and delight in evil. Yeah, you, that means you don't be eating nobody's delights, all right? When you are cheating in a relationship, regardless if you are married or not, you are delighting yourself in evil. Estás escuchando que estoy... Are you listening? You should not be inviting people into your life, y'all, when you have a wife. You know what's so crazy? Y'all will literally go put all that effort in to go talk to Big Titty Marissa instead of putting that effort into your wife. You will have these women all up on you when you have a wife at home crying and yearning for you. That doesn't make sense. And then there's women out here who will treat their husbands like crap while they're over here entertaining a guy who probably has his fun dip in everybody's mouth. Remember why you got with that person. Remember why you married that person. I pray to God that you are getting married for the right reasons. And I pray to God that you guys are getting with people you actually like. Because man, love is worth it. And I will fight tooth and nail to be with the same person over and over again. I don't get sick of people, y'all. That's one thing about me. I don't have a wondering eye. I don't get that. Mm, let me see what's on the other side. I already know. Not that many people gravitate towards me. And I don't really like that many people. I can honestly say that. So when I'm stuck to you, you ain't going nowhere, baby. I'm like a spider monkey on that back. I swear to God. But please, guys, before you decide on cheating on somebody and hurting one of God's children... Remember this, you little sinner. You're not a fucking winner. Remember this, you little sinner. You're going to end up with bubbles all over your Starburst or all over your Fun Dip if you keep it up. Karma is real, especially when you decide to cheat on people. God doesn't like ugly. He does not, and you shall be punished. And you might not think you're going to get karma. You might not think, oh, you know, I'm going to get away with this. But like I said, you might have a daughter one day, and she gets everything tenfold. You might be in love with somebody one day, and you get everything tenfold. Watch what you do to people. Please, like I said, if you're coming to people and you have great intentions, I love you. But if you're out here cheating and all that, guys, please learn from stuff like this. It's not worth it. Fix whatever void you have on the inside. Fix whatever character flaw you have. Fix whatever is damaging you so bad to the point where you can't accept love and you don't know what it's like to fight somebody who's deserving of it. Fight for the love. Fight for the love. You got all that energy to fucking suck. Pump people up. Why don't you go put that into your partner? Especially if you have kids. Your kids are watching you. Please, get it together. I'm tired of this cheating. You're lucky I'm not a president because if I was, cheating would be banned and you'd be in prison for the rest of your life. Yep, you would be. Have a good day. God bless you. And please stop cheating.